Hello, this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. I'm an arborist and a tree climber specialist. Been working in this trade for about 30 years now. Um, what I like to do is share uh, techniques to beginners and experts. What I want to do today is work on something that I worked on about five years ago. Did a video on it already. It's called the self tending Blake's Hitch. Um, for people who do the MRS system or the DDRT, they would really like this because there's really nothing to add on to your system and it helps you tend your line as you body thrust up. All right, let's get to it. So there's been a few different videos on self tending Blake's hitches. Now th there's one that you can get um, a pulley and a clip. Now what you'll do is you'll tie your, your friction cord to the line and then you get the pulley and connect it to your working end. And as you, um, you pull, the pulley pulls up the knot or the hitch. Or there's another way where you will tie your, your, your knot or your hitch and then you'll, with the tail of that hitch, you'll tie on your working end a clove hitch. And you know, you can tighten up your clove hitch and as you pull, then it tends up your line. But the way that I learned how to do it is that you'll use your bridge and with the tail, the Blake's tail, you'll tie what is like an inline bullion on your working end. So let me uh, get it set up. I've already tied my termination knot. I've got a, uh, a double fisherman's knot or bend and then on my split tail was one I created so I didn't even have to buy it, it was out of one of those you know extra ropes that I have uh, I'll put the carabiner on my 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 belt and I'll have to get the length that I want so I figure I'll have about this much pull now I'll do my blakes one two three four go over from the top I'll go over the bridge and now I'll go through the bottom two pull these this one right up through let me see here been a while there we go ah. all right so now I'm gonna get it tight I'm gonna tie dress and set it put a little bit of weight on it make sure it doesn't want to run on me okay set back now I know that it's not gonna run on me Okay, so now this is where I'm going to pull. I know my knot's going to be here. So this is the work end end over here. Now what I'll need to do is figure out that I want this tail to be higher than my hitch. Because when I pull, because this, this end's going to go up, this is going to be running. So I'm going to put my hand where I'm going to want to put the loop. I'll pull some slack out. And now what I'm going to do is I'll make a loop just like I would if it was a bowling. I'll get the tail of the blakes. I'll feed it through and make it pretty tight. And I'll feed it right back into that loop, just like I'm doing a bowling. Okay. So now I'll make it snug. Okay. So now I know that my tail is going to be higher than my knot when I pull. And that's, that's what I want. Just like that. Now that I have the hitch tied, this Blake's in the inline bowling. I'm gonna body thrust at the tree and show you guys what it does. All right, here we go. Now that I reached um, my destination in the canopy, uh, well, I would say if you were going to go real high, I would get to the high point, make my way up. Now that I'm there, I'm going to put my lanyard on, connect to myself. Now, um, it's still tight. I don't really worry how, about having to fall or anything. 
But what I want to do is loosen this up a little. And then with this bowline, I'll, I'll break it. And get a little bit more slack. I'll break it. I'll pop it through. And then I'll make a stopper knot at the end of my blades. Now, I find for myself, try, I, I really, it's, it really is sticky if I try to work with the tail on the working end. So I normally, if I were going to do it, I would climb up to the top, change it to the figure eight, and then work like I normally would. Um, on this system, I use a split tail. Um, you don't have to use a split tail. If you use the regular um, tie-in, the basic traditional tie-in, you could still do this system. You just have your carabiner, and then all you would do is the same thing. Tie your blakes, use the tail, put it on the working end, and you're ready to proceed up the tree and it'll tend your line for you. Well, this is the self tending blake hitch and the way that I know how to do it. The other methods work fine too. Um, they just have a little bit more to do to them. Um, I like having that inline bullet on the working end. It's really easy to untie and then put my stopper knot in and it's great to, to go ahead and start going. It's really good for people who do the MRS system and, and they really like using it. And honestly, you can use it with a split tail or without. Um, I gotta say that if you guys are gonna do something new, do it low and slow. You don't wanna get hurt. Um, there you go. All right, I'm gonna undo my lantern and proceed down the tree. Let me see. All right. <sighs> Ooh, ooh, ooh. Why not? Gotta get used to this plate. There we go. I really do like having the French press cords that are close to my body. There you go. There you have it. self tending Blake switch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Give me your opinion, tell me what you think. If you're an MRS system and you like something like this, tell me if, if it makes sense to you. Anyhow, we have a playlist down below. Check it out for the MRS DDRT system. We'll see you next time. Take care.